Greetings, and welcome to episode 56. In today's episode, we'll be discussing how you can shift your awareness, which can also help to shape your perspective of things. When I learned this technique, it actually worked in shifting my perspective. I, I actually began to see things differently. Hopefully, it'll work for you. Hopefully, I can explain it clearly enough so that it will work for you. But if we're ready, let's get started. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy. So, shifting your awareness. It's uh, not a very difficult technique. Now, it might be difficult to get the hang of if you can't determine what exactly is your awareness. But once you discover it, and I'll try to describe it in the way that I feel it, or experience it, I should say, and hopefully that'll help convey what I'm trying to get across. Because it is, I think it's very important that people learn how to do this. And it's, it's not just, it's not meditating. You, do, you don't have to be in a meditative state to do it, at least I don't. And matter of fact, what the first time I did it, I did it on accident. <laughs> and it worked. And so I've just been trying to maintain that ever since. It's not so much, I was about to say it's like shifting your focus, but it's possible to be aware without focusing on something. Like I'm aware of everything in the room, but I'm focusing on the camera that's right in front of me. Which, by the way, my wife got me a new camera for Valentine's Day, so if the picture looks so much better that's why <laughs> anyway awareness being aware you're when you walk outside you're focused on where you're going but you are aware that there are other things out there than what than your destination there's cars trees birds clouds other people what have you you're aware of that well whatever that awareness feels like to you allow it to sink in to you to the center of you so instead of your awareness being aware from the flesh out you're being aware from the inside of your flesh out from your spirit out and it it's actually amazing the difference it has on your perception of things and on your awareness itself because it's it's almost like you knew but now you know you know <laughs> and it i think that everybody should learn it i mean like i said when i did it i did it on accident i was just i was having a bad day and i just kind of my energy just kind of slumped but it everything kind of came in with it like and I was like, whoa, never done that before. <laughs> and I left it that way. And it it helped. And it it made the like it's like it made the universe bigger and smaller at the same time. It helped me feel more connected to everything. Literally everything. Like I can it feels like there's this film or fluid that I'm moving through now it's kind of freaky <laughs> but yeah you don't you don't have to sit there and meditate it's when the how do I explain this it almost felt like I was like here's my body and I walked into myself and it gave me the distinct impression that I had spent my entire life trying to figure out how to get inside my body it gave me more control over me where my mind goes because now it's it's like put a dial on the radio and I can turn the dial to me 
instead of chaotic everything and having to meditate to focus now I can just now I'm focused because I choose to be focused I don't have to meditate to achieve it now if I meditate that's just it's like a belt with suspenders it's just going to expand from there but if if you're going to try this and I suggest that if you're watching this video it won't hurt won't kill anything to try it it might kill some preconceived notions like for me it killed a few preconceived notions that I had like thinking that doing something like that you had to be meditating and that, oh it's just so difficult and <clears throat> I don't think that anymore and it wasn't just that it was it was like a string of things just like a dominoes gone instantly you could just you just knew that okay it just just answered a bunch of questions in that one almost accident it wasn't a complete accident but it was an accident I had a feeling something came over me and said, like like a hey try this and I just happened to be at a low energy point and that could be why it worked so well because I wasn't fighting it it was just like without thought well I, there was that because I just said okay and went with it and whoosh, there it was <laughs> and I think that maybe me explaining it is probably going to do more harm than good because now you're going to be trying to do it instead of just whoosh, do it like my head it just I'm going to scratch it. I'm not going to think about, well, how do I scratch it? What if I can't scratch it? What if I can't get to it? What if there's something that's going to keep me from doing it? What if I have to learn this special technique or uh, a ritual or read a book to learn how to scratch my head? That's that simple. <laughs> but being humans like we are, we like to make things overly complicated. <laughs> so I'm going to try and overly simplify draw your awareness to the center of your being that simple now it might be easier for you to achieve it while you're meditating because you're focused then on the center of your being and then you can inside out it's like pretty much what you're doing you're turning it inside out instead of living out here live from in here out it's that simple Now, while I'm speaking, I'm doing this over and over because hopefully trying to convey the feeling of what it feels like to shrink the awareness inside and then release it after you're inside you, yourself. It's like instead of seeing from here, you're seeing from here. And I'm not saying third eye. I mean like you're actually seeing from your optic nerve and not because you're changing your awareness you're aware of your eyes that see but you're not you, you we don't maintain an awareness of okay the optic nerve blah 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 so and that's something you could try instead of seeing from the surface out see from the inside out instead of feeling from the surface out feel from the inside out even just like touch your arm now you've just experienced that now feel it from the inside like down past the bone inside out it's really quite amazing it changes what that feels like and I wanted to say if you can achieve it but you can achieve it you can it's just that simple don't give it thought just do it don't give it the well, how do you, don't give it thought just do it see from the inside speak from the inside don't speak from your mouth speak from where that energy actually reverberates breathe from the inside out feel from the inside out control your chi from the inside out don't make any of this external speaking feeling existence your existence exist from the inside of your body out now when you meditate breathe through that it it 
to me it feel it feels like being wrapped in in just warm and glow and love it just feels awesome and I hope you can achieve it I hope you can just not think about it don't try to do it just do it now I'm gonna do it more slowly and now people see this well I already know how to do that that's fine try it anyway won't hurt never hurts to refresh the page you know <laughs> and it struck me because I've I've been meeting a lot of people because of my job and I've been struck with the, the, the distinct impression that most people do what they do in name and in word only and not because they don't believe but these things require quite a bit more than belief and lip service and the reason why that that's all as far as they got is because they can't get any of this to work they they can't get the meditation to work they can't get that that the, the energy work to flow they can't they've never experienced so they don't know what to experience so they think it's a try it's a technique it's a it well it is a technique but it, there's, there's no ceremony there's no uh, steps you gotta take you don't gotta burn sage by the silvery moon on the 35th of February or whatever <laughs> you just do it how do you meditate you just do it and if you feel like you're not doing it right keep at it because too many people experience this on a very real level for it to not be real I experience it on a very real level for it not to be real could I be deluding myself yes that's very that's a distinct possibility but if I'm wrong I lose nothing if you're wrong you cut yourself off from a very important piece of existence so it it harms you not at all to try it well you just want to start a call I don't know if you're trying it I'm asking you to try it so you're not following me I don't have a bunch of followers nine people watch my show I think I got nine subscribers <laughs> I don't promote my videos because I don't monetize so there's no way to recoup that so I just I don't do it uh, but yeah don't give up if you can't get it watch the video again maybe try you know I'm trying to convey the feeling through a camera which isn't working or maybe not working some some people will feel it and get the gist of it and some people won't uh, if you were sitting in the room with me I could definitely teach you how to do this but you're not sitting in the room with me haha <laughs> you're sitting in your room watching this on a video <laughs> but try it I mean it you can only benefit if you can get it to work and I hate saying if you can get it to work because that's almost almost like saying you'll never get it to work it'll work just do it don't try no technique just do it all everything about you your name how you feel how you experience life into the center of your being and you should be it should feel different immediately just the the way life touches your skin and I don't mean you touching it I mean just existence itself you feel like it's in you on you and you're in the fabric that's what it feels like it feels like I'm touching the fabric and maybe I shouldn't be teaching this so maybe it's a good that you don't you can't figure it out I don't know I don't know the kind of person you are maybe you're not supposed to learn it if you're not I apologize for getting you in trouble and teaching you something that could potentially get us get us all killed <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'm teaching the next Hitler how to live forever I don't know but I'd like to think that I'm teaching spiritual people 
a new technique or maybe refreshing an old technique they already have. You already have. I didn't have this technique before. Matter of fact, I've only been doing this for four days. Four days. Like I said, it happened almost by accident. But it happened, and I'm trying to continue to do it so that, like meditation, it becomes almost a habit to maintain it. But see, the, the trouble with maintaining it and not shutting it off is that you become accustomed to it and you forget. That's where the getting the, this information from me, even though you already knew this technique, can remind you, hey, that's right. Let's refresh that or let's turn it back on. Maybe this is something you learned so long ago that you just forgot to do it. You just forget to do it. Or maybe it's been on so long that you forgot what it feels like to just to have have it just turned on for you. So try it. Whether you're an adept or maybe you're just a junior seeker, <laughs> a novice, whatever you want to call it. I'm trying to just convey the basics, but sometimes things like this can do nothing but enhance the basics. Uh, I swore I wouldn't get into teaching parlor tricks, but I'm probably going to get into that too. Uh, not nearly as important as your journey, because as your journey goes along, you're going to learn different parlor tricks anyway, if you're paying attention, because certain techniques come with their own tricks. Certain techniques, just all you're going to get is a technique, and that it probably enhances another technique. Like this technique enhances meditation, my focus, I can think more clearly, I can feel, it feels just like I've connected to the exact frequency of love that binds the entire universe. That's what it feels like. It's like a warm glow, it feels like I'm snuggled up in a blanket and moving through that. Now, to if you're like more sensitive to these things, to these energies than I am, it might be a little disconcerting to feel that. You'll be like, whoa, what is that? But if that's what you're experiencing, you, you're there. Just let it, let it happen. Relax and experience it. If you don't like it, turn it off. Go back to normal or what you perceive to be normal because what I perceive to be normal is this is the normal state of consciousness is not from the outside out but from the inside out because we live up until that moment four days ago I was living from the outside in I was letting information come in to me now it seems like all of this information is coming out of me the chairs the the ceiling fan the TV everything things that were already there things I had to go out and purchase it's like I'm the creator of this it's it's almost as though that it's spilling out from me every bit of this it's an awesome feeling and I highly recommend it <laughs> uh, if you do know how to meditate I would highly suggest or should I say highly suggest highly recommend meditating on this feeling like I said it can only enhance it and it does it enhances it it's like it's like turning up the volume on a, a, a fluffy blanket fresh out of the dryer <laughs> who doesn't want that <laughs> four days and I'm teaching it and you know why I'm teaching it because the one thing I've learned about walking this particular path that I'm on is you can know it you can understand it but you don't really know it you don't really understand it until you have taught it to someone so I was like quick make a video <laughs>
I'm just sorry I waited four days, but I don't usually make videos over the weekend, and I had a pretty rough week, so I made one video all last week, and I'm used to making a video a day, but it seems like ever since my mother-in-law came to visit, I can't get back into the swing of it. I've been having trouble coming up with more ideas, so I think that I'm going to try my best to get back into making a video every day, especially since I got a new camera. I want to see how these videos turn out with the new camera. See if the sound finally syncs up to <laughs> me talking and it doesn't look like an old martial arts video or old martial arts movie where the the voices the <laughs> the talking isn't synced up to the mouth. Let's let's hope this is a little bit different. But this is so far it's a very nice camera and I hope the videos are all the better for it. But yeah. Oh just doing this. It feels like sunlight beaming in through the walls. It's like I can see it. It's like I'm part of it. It's it's like it's me. It can only get better from here. It can only get better. It's like life at your fingertips, in your fingertips. You are life. Life is you. I've never felt more connected to the universe. I, the planet at least. Because I haven't yet extended this beyond my normal sphere of involvement, which would be my home and my work at this point. But, yeah, highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. And just for the sake of trying to be a good teacher, I'm, we're going to go over it again. And hopefully I can convey it. If I can't convey it with my words, maybe you can feel what I'm trying to project to you. And that's old way, from the outside out, from the outside in, new way, from the inside out. And from every direction, every point, it's, it's all, it's everything. And I'm trying to convey or project what that feels like, which is really difficult, like I said, through a camera. But with any luck, it'll work. <laughs> like I said, it's a better camera. Who knows? I miss my old camera, though. I'm not going to lie. I like my grainy videos that hide my imperfections. And now this one's like, hey, ugly guy. <laughs> I kid, I kid. Uh, anyway. Oh, I just, yeah, I'm because I'm focusing on the feeling. It's different when you when you, you do the awareness thing and you, you, you shrink it inside and you're inside out. Or inside, inside. I, I, the, the words don't, words fail me. I can't accurately describe this with the words given to me by the English language. <laughs> and I'm not sure any language has the appropriate words to be able to accurately describe this properly. It's a phenomenal feeling. Uh, and I highly, highly, highly recommend trying this or oh, do sorry not trying doing this because you're not trying it just do it don't try to do it there's no technique there's no nothing you're not doing it wrong if you're not getting it I I would suggest that it's all a matter of you're probably doing it you just don't know what it feels like and I'm having trouble trying to explain that. It's like seeing from the inside out, but not through your eyes, through your through your spirit, through your soul. Every cell in your body, you're behind it, you're in it, you're around it. And you can feel it and you can tell it. And it extends out and you're in it, through it and around it and the same thing through everything else every molecule around you <laughs> oh, it's fascinating and I'm actually surprised that it took me 40 years to find it 
but that's okay and I'm teaching it because why not those of you that know how to do it here's a refresh for you those of you that don't know how to do it now you do and I'm still trying to convey what it feels like and if you catch it you catch what I'm trying to project to you you catch or you can figure it out with the, the words I'm using then all the more power to you <laughs> oh breathing is easy I'm a smoker breathing is easier I can breathe deeper it's like I no longer need the lungs in the first place it's amazing it is it is amazing hmm mm. I just like looking around and just sitting and feeling because everything feels different everything looks different it's the same stuff I've been looking at for years and it looks different I love how every once in a while you'll learn a technique or figure something out that kinda gives you a new perspective and 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 like reef gives you new eyes to see things differently I, I absolutely love that but uh yeah I I know I'm nowhere near the 30 minute mark well 26 minutes that's kinda near the 30 minute mark but uh yeah I'm gonna go ahead and call this video uh, if you have any questions you know what to do <laughs> but seriously if you have enjoyed this video or if you learned anything please click the like button you can favorite the video if you want uh, leave comments down below especially if you have any questions and I can maybe try and articulate what I'm trying to get across to you or maybe I don't know we'll figure something out if you really want to learn this I'll do my best to teach it to you if you've already learned this and uh, maybe we can discuss your take on it but uh, if you want more information different information because I have several videos uh, and you want to keep coming back then go ahead and click the subscribe button but uh, until next time you hang in there